Everything stays together You can go and let walks apart Just walls apart So together we stay
100 to 90, the winner by unanimous decision, and Steele. Patriots sent their Fairfax, Virginia for the Jimmy Lang versus Tony Jetta NABA title fight. Uh, Tony Jetta won. Uh, he declared the winner and uh, uh, Jimmy Lang lost. So um, it's a very interesting fight. Uh, Jimmy is a hometown favorite. He's uh, very popular. But now uh, Tony Jetta has stolen the show. With me here is uh, Gary Williams and Jerome Spears. They are staples in the area and they know all there is about the people or the boxers that fight in this area. So, um, Gary, tell us, I mean, what do you think about the fight? Well, first of all, Michael, uh, first of all, thanks for having us on. Um, this fight was a much better bout than the bout we saw in October between these two guys. I just think that Jimmy Lang, you saw how, what a healthy Jimmy Lang can do, but you also saw, folks, what a Tony Jeff does. And Tony didn't do too much different than he did the first fight, but he was effective again. And I think that effectiveness, especially in the latter stages of the bout, gave him the victory. I think there was a time where in the seventh round, it looked like Jimmy Lang had seized control of the bout, but Tony Jetta seized it right back. And that ended up being the main difference, I think, in the round. Okay, there, there was a moment where the, the momentum could have shifted one way or the other, and either guy could have kind of taken the bull by the horns and taken control. And, and so, but both guys had trouble sustaining that. And the fact that, that Lang was not able to sustain it for a significant period of time may have been enough for the judges to continue to favor the aggressiveness of what we saw from Jeter. And that's why he got the decision on two of the judges' cards. And many of the ringside people had it um, almost 9 to 1 or 8 to 2 for Jeter. So it was a very impressive performance. But you have to give it to Jimmy Lang. He's been out for maybe about two years. Right. And um, he had surgery and he came back straight into this fight. Now, many people wouldn't do that. They would take a tune up and then fight um, uh, Jeter. So while Jeter's victory is uh, monumental and all that, uh, he had many advantages over Jimmy, but Jimmy took the fight and he lost the fight. Now, moving on to Tori Nelson, he was on a heck of a performance against his narrow. Um, I was very impressed that she's now the WC. Still the WIBA middleweight title. What do you about that fight? Yeah, she won the welterweight title. This is her fifth title defense of the WIBA welterweight crown, her fourth this year. And she's had some tough ones. She had some easy ones like Mia St. John. Her last defense against Arlene Blankow was a very, very tough one. Some people thought he lost, she lost it. Tonight, no such situation. Tori, Tori Nelson was dominant tonight, guys, and I, I just think that. Uh, in my opinion, she is the boxer of the year in this area. I would say, going back and say it right now. You know, they kick, they kicked off at a very fast pace early in the fight, and you figure they can't go ten rounds like this. They went ten rounds, rounds like, like that. that. Exactly. Yeah, so it's pretty impressive. Yeah, and what was equally impressive was that was that I thought Cisneros was like a light heavyweight, a walking light heavyweight or cruiserweight, and um, she got buzzed by many shots by Tari. But because she was so big, Tori Nelson couldn't get her out of there. She was just a big, lumbering woman, and she has a losing record, but she can fight. She threw herself into the fight, but Tori Nelson landed the other, the clean, more effective punches, and she's still the champion, so we're very proud of her. And she's 37 years old, and she has four children, or three children, so that's very impressive. Yeah, so. she, she, she's been a boon for women's boxing. Right? Yeah. You look at the area, we have become a haven for women's boxing. We have now three world champions in Tarashia Douglas, Jennifer Salinas, and Tori Nelson. We've had five in our history in the last, the last 30 years. It's done an outstanding job. Craig Flatiger trains all three of them now. It, it needs to be commended. He's one of the better trainers in this area. He's become one of the better trainers in the area and just knows how to really work with female boxers does not stand in good. Okay. Well, fight fans, you've got the ringside report uh, from Fight Kings TV. We try to give you uh, a ring experience on like what you will see on HBO or Showtime. And you just heard from some of the best um, commentators 
and reporters in the Beltway area. They have they do a tremendous job of covering boxing in this area. So whatever they say really counts. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Thank you.